Welcome everyone to week four of Unified Collegiate League 2024 Fall Valorant Premiere. We're, we're playing Valorant. It's college time. <laughs> it's in the fall. That's all I guess you need to know. My yeah. name is Mechatronic. I'm here with Time to Light uh, for our fourth week. I got to say, uh, four weeks in, we've seen a couple double headers for teams, and it doesn't seem like they're too hindered by it. it one of no. those teams, by the way, is playing today, and they've nearly gone unblemished through four, four and a half weeks, I, I guess. Uh, Harrisburg, scary team. Harrisburg coming into things four and one. You can see it here. But Mount St. Mary's on the other side, oh, and four. That, not the greatest of starts to their yeah. season. So uh, we we have tonight, uh, as you so eloquently mentioned, that important match. But before we get too deep into that, I want to bring up the rest of the week because tonight is Thursday. If you go back to yesterday, we were here for League of Legends. We're here on Monday for Overwatch 2 and Tuesday for Rocket League. And even tomorrow, we will be here for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So if you want to get your collegiate esports fix, we're live five days a week right here. Uh, same time, same place, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. Uh, you won't be able to see our beautiful faces every every day of the week, unless you're here on Wednesday, then you get to see mine. But uh, other than that, let's get into this match a little bit more because I'm I'm excited, man. This is this is a this is one of those matches where you can there there's a David Goliath kind of situation here. Yeah, I I unfortunately feel like that's one of those uh, wild understatements that will still prove to be only slightly true. Where you're looking at this, I, I mean, we saw the the screen. It said four and one for Harrisburg and zero oh and four for Mount Saint Mary's. Well, I'm so, not going to beat a dead we, horse in our pre-show, but I want to clarify this because the uh -oh. Harrisburg loss is to the number one seed Columbia College last yeah. week. That exactly. was the that was our game on stream, right? So it's not like Harrisburg University, uh, the Harrisburg Storm, right? are that far behind the first place mark there they they dropped one map uh on this first place mark yeah and they're going into a game against the last place team where they will probably seem a little bit more than confident that's my main concern they're coming off of a week where they played an extremely formidable columbia college roster they took it basically as far as they could again against columbia college they're kind of nationally ranked in valorant so it doesn't make it all that much more fair but now you're playing mount st mary's so i don't i don't know how this is gonna go you want to hear some interesting statistics i would love to the round differential for both teams is roughly 70 it's 70 Once for plus. Harrisburg University, and it is negative 65 for Mount St. Mary's. That's not a huge thing of how this should go, but that, that should give you a pretty good idea of, of what we're looking for tonight. I think if you're a Harrisburg fan, if you're an HU Storm fan, if it isn't a 2-0, you're probably not that happy. What are you doing? Uh, if it isn't a 2-0, what are you doing? Uh, the, it, we we don't want to be the I, Debbie Downers well, of oh and, Mount St Mary's isn't going to win a game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this on the other side. If if you're Mount St Mary's and you bring yeah. the storm to like thirteenth eleven on every on both maps, or if you win a map, you're ecstatic tonight. Oh yeah, <laughs> like and, this and is, this is a close. nationally ranked Valorant team who has only been beaten by Columbia College, who did very well last year. Like there is a lot of hope, right? If you can if you can do to this same degree what they're doing to you. 
Yeah, and you're coming into this game expecting a 2-0. You are working with lower expectations because you're playing up against Harrisburg and they're 4-1, you're 0-4. It's kind of like walking into the MLB and saying, hey, Chicago White Sox, go beat the Dodgers. <laughs> it's not going to happen on a consistent basis, but hey, things do happen. That's why an MLB Pretty season sure. is 162 games long. We'll see if that's the case here today. As we move into bind of our first map, I, I will say... Mount St. Mary starting on the defensive side is probably helpful for them. It's a little bit easier to warm up on the defense against an arguably better team, but it's also a lot easier to snowball on the attack than it is in the defense. Sorry, I had to just go check because I thought the White Sox did beat the Dodgers this year, and I was slightly concerned. Um, it could yeah, happen. So, I mean, they it beat could the happen. Red Sox, much to my dismay. But um, yeah, you mentioned we're on bind right here. This is the Mount St. Mary pick. We will go to Sunset for map two and Abyss if needed on map three. I do like Abyss as a map three, but the fact like that Abyss. Sunset's map two, I'm I'm going to say it right now. If Mount St. Mary's do not win bind, they will not see Abyss because uh, Sunset is a very heavy gunplay and coordination favored map. And I mean, from what I watched the you know, 25 minutes of the VOD from last week, plus I've seen Columbia College, so I know how teams of that caliber play. I feel like it's going to be favored towards Harrisburg if it wouldn't be already. Shadow was really good last week, and so was um, Ayan was really good. Actually, most of the team was really good, but Shadow and Huso and Ayan were just incredible last week, and I expect to kind of see that performance continue here tonight. It's on the Harrisburg so side. In case you're, in case you're unsure about the the, uh, the player names for right now, this is Shadow in front of us. I know it says... Woodass! Woodass! <laughs> but it is Shadow, I swear. I so, think people should stop naming themselves like this, by the way. Like backwards? Like <laughs> yeah. Cutler, Red Luck? Uh, Ethan? <laughs> In the, yeah, uh, the, the Counter-Strike yeah. days? Who changed it for what it's worth? Good for him. He gets um, it. Man of the people. I'll cover some agent statistics in a second, but TLDR, apart from Brimstone for Harrisburg, it's not abnormal. Even with the Brimstone, actually, it's fairly normal with the double controller pick. Prowler actually finds out that trap and Insta finds the opening kill. The problem is you find that opening kill and you give up Spike Plant because Wingman's there. Decent flank already set up with three players inside of showers and you've still got back sight control, but as soon as you lose out your sight, you're probably losing out on this round. How successful can Wraith be walking into two, if not three? Decent flash, almost finds a second, but Huso will shut them down. Vision for both sides, but they don't know about the Gecko in the cubby. They don't get it cleared either. Looking to shut down their counterpart, they'll find one. Make it two. Oh. No, they won't find three. Huso finds a double of their own, but Harrisburg's pistol. It does not go off without a hitch, but it still goes off in their favor. Ion having the trigger discipline to just sit there for a second. And even when you peek out and you see that brimstone, just go in the little extra bit there to try and make sure you get the gecko, make sure you get snaps on the defusal, able to get one more after that. Huso grabs the last one. Really good pistol round. Like at the end, especially to clutch into that. I like a very good uh, back and forth pistol round. TLDR on the uh, agent selection, by the way. Harrisburg University has the most commonly picked agent selection in the last 90 days across all levels of competition that are recorded by the Spike GG. It's about 13.99% of the time, and all five of their agents are in the top five of individually selected agents. 75 for Rays, 63 Brims, 55 Viper, 50 for Sky. Actually, not all five. Uh, Fade is the one that's outside. She's seventh at 27, but Gecko's 45. Here. That was a lot of numbers. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, those are all percentages, <laughs> by the way. That's the. Uh, oh, I thought I thought often... someone was picked 66.2 percent of the time. I was trying to figure out how we could get a 0.2 pick. I don't know. It's like half a tackle in football. Grenade. All right, it's going to be a little bit of an A take here. There's three towards shower, two towards main. Hecky is on the flank here. Just a classic, though. May not be able to do a huge amount here for Huso. Ian's going to get tapped on quick from this classic. Another chop from Snaps. Ijix, Huso, both getting kills. And Hecky comes forward, standing. but can't get no. anything onto Huso. Two for each of the H members on Harrisburg. Jeffy closing it out. 
I do have to say, a little concerning if you're Harrisburg University there. Wingman gets killed from bench. You should have known that bench was occupied, and yet nobody immediately clears that. You end up blocking out, and two players die yeah. from that position. Sure, the second one was also being shot from a different position. It was just an errant headshot. But still, a two-for-one trade against a person with a classic in a position that you know was occupied, that's some of the more intricate natures of this game where that, that'll cost you a win against a team like Columbia College. In this case, it doesn't cost them a win against a very ecoed Mount St. Mary's, but if Mount St. Mary's has guns there, we're in a completely different conversation and different round count, more important. Also, great lineup. Wonderful. Really good lineup. Pushing Insta back instantaneously. Ah, I see what he did there. Right there. All right, so I've got a, I've got a question for you. I posed this to Crow last week. Uh, oh, when he was here, uh, Huso, player that was sitting in front of us right there, that raise. Uh, you notice how every Harrisburg University player, other than Huso and Shadow, have HU in front of their name. So, does Huso actually have HU in front of his name? And the name is just oh, so. Yeah, there. Monster on the loose. No, or would it, it would be, be Huso? Capital H -U. No, it'd be capital H U. It's just capital H lowercase U. So slight difference. Uh, also, they know Insta's here again, so they should clear this. Dizzy's up, fake with the fade, and you basically got the fight. That should be just about the round. Hagi goes for one, but that's all she wrote. And Staff honestly, shoot in the right place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got the information, but you can only do so much guesswork. And in a four versus planted. three, spike planted and no sight control. I would not be surprised, nor would I blame them, if Mount St. Mary saves. No, this seems like it could be a good save angle. I don't know if you save with just three alive here, though. Not because of three alive, but you may try and see if you can get a pick or two. There's still enough time left yeah. over. Dizzy flashing here is going to be really brutal for that. They know someone's on bench. They just haven't been able to clear Huso yet. And once it's once it's a three on two like that, it becomes really difficult to deal with. Huso's got another, a third. Wraith is trying to even this. There's not enough time left. Nope. Hey, you've done damage. I mean, you go from a, what, four versus three to a two versus one, you take away two guns on their side. Problem is, you still lose the round, and you lose your own guns. That's the main reason why I said I'd rather see them save, because with the fact they've already lost two rounds, they would have now lost a third. Watch the money for Wraith here. That's what I want you to look at. Uh, it was a lot higher than it is now, but after Wait. you rebuy shields, it would have been enough. If three players saved, they would have had enough to buy most rifles for the team because I mean, they would have still saved over three. Look at it this way. The Harrisburg side is able to buy regardless. Yeah. Look, they have the amount, they have the correct amount of money. If they save two more weapons, it would have been nice for their eco, but not the end of the world. The Mount St. Yeah. Mary's side could have really used two more rifles. That's why I said I wouldn't be surprised if they saved very early in that routine. Quick rush. Ooh. Good dizzy to return. Peggy gets the opening, but with only a stinger, you don't want to put too much out of position to try and get that gun. And yet, here we are, Brimstone doing exactly that. Mount St. Mary's have an untraded opening pick. That's a good start. I mean, that's the exact that's start you want. You down. want to make it a little bit di more difficult for the attackers to try and get on a single of these sites. Looks like they're kind of just determining where to go. There's the neural theft used from Mount St. Mary's. They've got an idea. The problem is it's split even. It's two and two. I really haven't made a decision yet. That's a great smoke to basically force them to shut it down entirely. You don't want to jump through that and land because landing inaccuracy. And you don't want to walk through it because you get gray screened while your feet are sticking out. That's a problem. Long story short, Mount St. Mary's are perfectly set up here. They've got three players on A. They've still got two on B. Yeah, Harrisburg now has a player advantage, technically, on A specifically. But you're winning this game, winning this round at least, if you're Mount St. Mary's for the time being. 30 seconds left. This stinger may have to do a lot here. It's the only one guarding showers the same way. Wingman comes through. Fade comes through. High Jinx comes through, grabs a kill. Ion with another one onto Insta. Jeffy should have just been heard by Snap. Will get swung out on, but Jeffy will grab the kill. Wraith is the last Spike one planted. alive, sitting in showers in a 1v3. We've seen this story from Wraith before. He got it down to a two-on-one, but I think this is a save call early. Should be. And that is, there are a few things that have been seen as directly textbook for Harrisburg University thus far. It's been a very nitpicky game, at least from my perspective. But that post loss of an opening pick was near perfect. You just absolutely slow things down, realize you're playing a man down. 
and then understand where have they been playing before. The number one position that Mount St. Mary's has been occupying before this round was bench. It was occupied in all three of the opening rounds. So, naturally, clear bench. And you don't just do it with a Prowler. You don't just do it with Wingman. You combine the two, Prowler gets shot, whatever. Wingman then gets shot at the same time, but doesn't get killed because Prowler was previously occupied. And thus, you get a stunned out and confused opening duel in your favor. Immediately, you've got the player advantage on that site now by two. You turn it into a complete swarm of the site, and you only lose one player at the end of things. That was Here. textbook from Harrisburg University after losing that opening. Here. Yeah, I mean, they're just able to come back in the round. It's really good. We'll see Mount St. Mary's here just... Try... I think they're buying in. They are buying in here. I re... Can they do something with these weapons? This is the question, right? They've, they've gotten early picks. They haven't been able to get much past that. Who's just going to go for the same early pick he was in before? You get pointed out this time. No one's died oh, yeah. early. That's a that's a big win for Harrisburg University. They've given up a lot of opening picks. Jeffy with the opening pick over towards B. Now, they almost had the C's paint shell combination. That's usually what you see is opening bits of utility towards mid or... Uh, maybe towards B, depending on the team. You'll see that a lot on Haven, but here does not land. Good spatial awareness from the Brimstone, realizing, wait, I was just seen by a Prowler. I need to get the heck out of Dodge. So they do. Brimstone just walks walks away there, but the, it's it's a good information to know. They know there's at least one player Face here. Your fear. And there's the Fate Ultimate going through. It's going to catch at least two or three of them. Prowler will go and catch one, but... Nothing has really been gained from this other than some knowledge that there are players. You don't Atrios need to. comes from behind. And it doesn't spike. matter because Ion's over on the B site. Spike goes down without a hitch. So you throw the Nightfall and then you realize that B Long was still occupied. So you wait for the teleporter from Showers. And as soon as that teleporter comes through, not only do you kill the Showers remaining. player who had rotated, you also take the site because no one's there anymore. You heard the teleporter, and it's the greatest play because Mount St. Mary's had no idea whether or not it was a fake. As soon as you throw that nightfall, it's a deafening effect, meaning you can't hear if people are running towards you, away from you, or running at all. And it was perfectly executed. Yeah, well. Combine that, more importantly, with the kills off the back of it, the one towards showers, and play a player advantage. Uh, surprisingly, if Harrisburg University has a three versus zero on the B site, they're gonna get the plant down. I know, shocking everybody. Spike will go off here. They, all, these rounds haven't been really like four alive, five alive. It's been a lot of these like two or three alive at the end of the rounds. Harrisburg economy has taken a little bit to get itself together, but I think it's there at this point. The problem is they're finally getting it together and it's into the second part of the half anyway where Mount St. Mary's is gonna be able to buy every other round. I wouldn't be surprised if Mount St. Mary's go into this round thinking, well, we've got nothing to lose. We're playing behind. They have all the money in the world. Let's just rush something. Yeah, I was going to say, a psycho that. shower push here feels really good. Problem is no one's there. They do yeah, there's no one there. No one's there. I do. Oh, and they're doing the same thing for long, too. Uh-oh. Yeah, just psycho pushes everywhere. Huso's got a lot taken care of. Paint shells will take care of the rest. The one's B. No, but they moved everyone to A. <laughs> Every single player is on A for Mount St. Mary's. They're going to do a full retake together. Spike will go down for Shadow. And it's a 4v5 hold here. Harrisburg trying to see if they can keep this site to themselves. Good news. People got out without being traded. Bad news. You left the site unattended. Uh, somebody said protect this house and Under Armour didn't listen. So they will use Thrash, at least use it for some information. But they don't get the Roomba all the way down the shower's oh. hallway. And watch this, Hijinx walking from behind as the Orbital Strike to slow things down and disallow a spike to use. And no one's shown their head. One already from behind, maybe a second. Shadow does one miss their opportunity, remaining. but it really isn't going to matter. Jeffy goes for two. Hanky uh. Shore gets one, but it's not going to turn into anything more than just a single digits. Harrisburg with six in a row. And the player disadvantage on a post plant again works in their favor. There was a moment there where I saw every single Mount St. Mary player coming up through defender spawn. And I really thought about the orbital strike there for Harrisburg University. Imagine. You just chuck it right on that little elbow there and you delete four players. Imagine there was the a scenes. chance. I saw, I, saw, I saw the play in my eyes in the future. That didn't happen. 
to put three over towards B, this time giving themselves a get out of jail free, and oh no, you walk into that. How in the world does Jeffy not even find one? Sure, they do some damage to two. Luckily, the Rays get some of that decay back, but this will just be a rush in towards A, and Showers is the only part of this defended. Wingman should be able to plant unabrighted. And another four versus five? Another four versus five, another concerted retake effort, right? They are all showers. They now have two coming around towards a main. But look at where Harrisburg is like concentrated here. They are concentrated to look for a main and to protect on a main. And they've got one person sitting in heaven to make sure the flank is good, make sure shower is good. Hijinx got the first one onto Insta. Wingman's going to try and see about finding anyone else. Snap's going to take this duel against Hijinx, but it won't go very One far. Remaining. But Hefty from, from Showers has done a lot of work here. My buddy's defusing. Oh, Shadow. Wow. Was Shadow is low, HP. too. 8 HP on Shadow. Incredible. I mean, good spatial awareness from Shadow. So, uh, if you're a gecko there, and you're in the one versus one, you're thinking, let me make sure Wingman gets to the spike, and then I'll worry about getting to the fight. So you throw down Wingman, and it's not like Wingman's quiet, but at the same time, he's not stomping around like a herd of elephants. Shadow hears Wingman and is thinking, wait, before Wingman even taps the spike, before the gecko is really in to protect the Wingman mode, just swing. You're not expecting an immediate swing before anybody, if anything, has tapped the spike, so just swing. And sometimes it's swing or be oh, swung, yeah. in that case. Oh, oh, on the loose. Uh, oh look at the thrash used early. But, Jeffy's gonna get but, two. It, it didn't even go off. <laughs> no, it didn't. What? It was a distraction, <laughs> it was just a flash. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really it's a very expensive, expensive flash. flash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simple who? What? Thrash.exe, I suppose, is a better alternative. <laughs> and Hijinx is back in elbow again and with another smoke in front of them. One he has round over. And what? He got it through the smoke. What is this? Okay, bro. Whatever. Thrash yeah. isn't done with you. So, uh, the storm have uh, awoken a little bit. I would consider us now into tropical storm territory. Hey, but Mount St. Mary's isn't in Florida. How are they getting hit so hard? Soon. I, I think it was a little too soon, man. You give it another week and we would have been fine, but I think it was a little too soon. <laughs> My grandma made jokes about it. She lives just south of Tampa, so... Okay, I'm so then you're fine. You're fine. Picture. Yeah. I'm, you're fine. I'm allowed to make jokes about you're, it. You're allowed to make <laughs> jokes about it. Yeah. All right, so here we go now. Sitting... Eight up for Harrisburg University. They've done it through, well, losing at the beginning of the round, winning at the beginning of the round, losing at the end of the round, into winning at the end of the round. They haven't stopped winning at the end of the round here. And Mount St. Mary's just feel like they've got the beginning of the round down. They're getting a lot of these opening picks. They just can't finish it off. Also, uh, unaccompanied individuals who are just going either direction. We're seeing this be long, we're seeing it shower sometimes. The more and more you give over those individual fights, the more variance you introduce. It's like getting pocket aces in poker and running it like 17 times. Yeah, you're going to win more often than not, but when you're playing up against like, I don't know, Jack 10 well, suited, it's not ready for all you poker <laughs> fans, you're going to lose a fair few of those. So you don't want to introduce more and more variance because Fuck it allows a team... Like Mount St. Mary's, I mean, you don't have to win every Ooh. fight, but if you win a fair few, that's nice. Again, great lineup. Clears Big all of Gardens. And what? that's the entirety of B now taken. They don't have anything inside of B. I'm sorry, what did you just say before Gardens? They don't have anything inside of Gardens. No, I thought you said Olive Garden. I was very confused. Yeah. That sounds good right now. <laughs> all right, elbow getting taken out. Just... Through the smoke, a lot of shots getting hit. Hijinx win. Jeffy will both go down. Huso is here to try and get a trade. Heck, he's got another one here. This is a really big advantage for Mount St. Mary's. Five on the count. They know both are sitting on the site. Just two left for Harrisburg. Ian was really good last week. Shadow's no been way. really good too. Acrios is in the right place at the right time. And can get both. He does. Ian and Shadow go down. Mount St. Mary's first on the board. By the way. Ian almost turned around at the perfect time. If oh, yeah. Akiros turns around or swings that a second earlier, maybe two, this is a completely different round because Ian finds that kill and Shadow is still sitting in Cubby. So you would have had one known player Gardens, but the other one may not have been seen, but certainly would have at least been noted. It would have been a 2v4 rather than what almost certainly would have been 1v5 and you're still looking the wrong way. 
great play from Mount St. Mary's. They didn't rush that one. That was the important part. They yeah. didn't put themselves all into the same position. They didn't rush it. They realized, hey, we've got like three flankers walking in. Maybe we should give them a few seconds to get into position. And it worked. Magic. We just need to see that more. In the three rounds left for Mount St. Mary's, do they do that? Crowler's gonna go through, Dizzy through as well. That's a pull. He's gonna follow it up with anything. There is Paint Shells now very late in there. But Acrios is gonna take so much damage. Oh? Jeffy's gonna walk through. What? Wraith just he swings just that through the smoke and yeah. won the fight. Okay, yeah. sure. He's just better. He's just better than Jeffy. Right now, in that position. As we Polly. I'm just gonna try and clear some people out. Knows Acrio should be here on the right. Can't get the kill though. Go get him. I think Hoos is just trying to keep teleporter access for a minute. They should know that there's at least one that around teleporter. Maybe not in TP proper, but definitely around it. That's so much information for Mount St. Mary's. The teleporter door is still being open. The fact that it's closed two or three times. Yeah, you've done some damage. Akiros is at 50. You've still got Raid and Glow. For some reason, he's still here. Okay, who's so? For you, so? And you go from a 3v5 to a 3v3. Mount St. Mary's okay. just should not be taking those fights. That is where you take your advantage and you walk away. One enemy Kill, remaining. Two kills. Oh. Shadow and Huso making sure to push this forward. And for a round that looked like it was doomed for a while for Harrisburg oh. University, Hecky is the Fight only one planted. left for Mount St. Mary's with just eight health. Shadow. Taking him out to end it. Nine to one, two rounds left in this half. I would just like to readdress the fact that that was a 3v5. Yep. And they won it in a 3v0. Nobody died from that point onward. Huso found three or four kills. And the fact that you continue to give Mount St. Mary's, not even the time of day, but more and more fights. And again, you introduce your low HP players first. Yeah, they were both headshots, so it really didn't matter. But still, why? It, it's just the principle of the matter. And that's where Mount St. Mary's, they had every advantage feasible to them, apart from the HP on those two players, and they just don't take full advantage of it. Now, just a walk into sight. Harrisburg this is quick. basically has all of sight, and they've segregated the front and back of sight. They've had a player teleport, and they know Showers is occupied. Should be a kill. Huso misses. What? Uh, Huso does, you know, no, last round, cooking. Huso's a god. He can get matter. three kills in the round. One I think this round will be the guy. <laughs> three kill. Right there. And Hecky. Hecky's been in this spot like two or three times now. Just sitting in the back of this A site. Not able to get anything. You know, one beat a lot. We'll take Ian to start. That's a Vandal. It's a little bit of an upgrade here. Everyone on Harrisburg knows exactly where he is. Not being particularly quiet about all of this. It does get one more. Oh. I don't know how much that really matters. We're going in the last round. You're buying regardless. Plenty yeah. of economy last for Harrisburg here. Last round in the half. Can't yeah, I didn't shoot between them, this. but I call what Go he just did in the 1v2 goal posting, where you realize, hey, here. one person's over here, the other person's over here, and you don't decide which one you're either A going to shoot at or you shoot between both of them. Yeah. You shoot between the goal posts when you, you actually want to the, the goal posts. Yeah. It's it's contrary to most kickers in the NFL. Yeah, but no, if you if you're in you, the NFL, you want to hit the goalposts in one v two. You do not want to hit the goalposts if you are. Or if you're in playing, the... or if you're doing that weird thing in soccer where you are trying to hit the edge of the, the net thing. Satchel out. Satchel out. I don't know what I'm talking about with soccer. This what? is. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back okay, to that. sure, sure. <laughs> you know what? That tracks. I'd just like to note that Cypher is still in the back of this B side. They're clearing it out now. Who's supposed to take this kill against? Okay, oh. Jeffy. One enemy Bam. remaining. Oh no! Shadow oh. baited Jeffy or used Jeffy as bait. Oh. All right, Insis in a one v five. I think we've all uh, accepted the fact that he's not going to win this. It's just a matter of how he dies. He gets dizzy. He walks into the smoke. He's going to get knifed. Yep. Oh. Okay. Hilarious. Now, what were you talking about about Don't soccer? Yeah, have you never seen the videos of them like Switching trying sides. to like hit the crossbar and stuff? Oh, oh, you you were talking about the crossbar challenge. Okay, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but there, there's also uprights on the side where they try and hit it too. Right? Yeah, like yeah, that's, yeah, really that's a thing. The, the cool, but thing not is not in a real game, but in yeah, like the tro in the the, the practicing yeah. things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Crossbar challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was... Also, the tripwire so. setup on this B site. Did you just, you saw who saw just jump over that? Yeah, I mean, you got yeah. hops when you're raised. It kind of helps when you've got small blast I, packs. I have never seen 
that as a uh, as a tripwire setup. It's really like good because it clears um it clears the default plant position on the side of tube from I both or from both main and hookah. I, it's actually a really good setup. Like that. Stim beacon down. I will not be using it, but I do like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Who's there just gets jumped into? It's even trades right now. Snaps is the one up close here. Enemy down. What? Jeffy will grab it onto Snaps. 3v2. We've seen both teams win both of these. Oh, but there's a lot of players right there. Wraith is able to get two. It's all left on the hijinks now. No way. Does he have any more surprises left? No way. On the flank. No it's way. It's over. He's he's won this. I'm calling it right now. It's over. They have no way they're gonna turn. There's no way they're gonna turn around. They've taken just, so long. They're thinking Jinx, everything's behind Jinx us. Jinx just closed. needs to not pick up a weapon. Don't go post. Don't go post. Oh no! no bad shot. Oh, he, he still got it. He still got it. Oh my goodness That's gracious! Hecky and Wraith took a calendar year to walk in and out of showers. Match they never point. actually left showers, and Hijinx had enough time to jump behind them, figure out who he wanted to shoot at, then do his taxes, and then he finally <laughs> initiated a fight. You can tell that we're American because of the tax comment. Um, <laughs> yeah. Insane that he also almost doesn't get that, right? There, There is a world right there where one of them turns around and gets it. The double dink with the classic to not get the kill is brutal. That story of my life right there. Except Shooting you don't get dollar. both those kills. No, I, I, I get one of those kills after headshotting one of them. Always happens. Hijinx just ran away from this, by the way. What yeah, you don't want to deal with a double range, double... Bomb pack or raise with a Bucky. Get away. Uh, Wingman was shot, by the way. No plant just yet. Great positional awareness from Shadow. And they've kind of shut down site control now. They've got one extra player in showers. They have another person on the outside of it because they just took teleporter. So Mount St. Mary's has the entirety of a site and they can't do a damn thing with it. They're going to start looking at the plant and it won't go through. Just a little bit of a tap. Ions on this flank right here. It's just going to run right past Hecky, who's got the stinger. <laughs> And they're going right onto this A B site. Down B. But Jeffy has learned. There's been some learning between the two halves because Jeffy did not leave this site alone. He's still one player left. He won't be able to get another kill, but he's got one to start. Acrius and Insta both have their own. But it lets Shadow get into the site. Guardian going strong on at least one. one. Enemy Trying remaining. to spam through the wall. Does grab Acrius and is just Hecky. This bulldog left over. Did he just take this? That's around. He no, you can't it. shoot. Yeah, you can't shoot that through the wall, at least not for any level of success. Win. And it's 13-1 because you basically ninja a defuse while Hickey was so distracted with a jumping player in front of the hookah window and obviously the, the haunt that was just thrown at his <laughs> back. Uh, it's the game of distractions, and it worked perfectly in Harrisburg's favor. So uh, I don't think we need to talk about what Harrisburg needs to do on game two to uh, – to, the to same confirm thing. the win. The answer is do exactly what you did right here. You're going to your map pick. Is there anything Mount St. Mary University can do to try and get some more rounds here? To try and get a, a map win? Lower variance plays. That that was the thing I was talking about earlier. When you have an advantage, it is not easily easy to come by an advantage when you are playing teams mm -hmm. like Columbia College, like Harrisburg University. When you find them, because your individual players are mechanically gifted, we've seen that thus far, mm -hmm. take advantage of it. Don't say, hey, mechanically gifted players, let's take the advantage that you just worked really hard to gain and throw it away like I was taking out the trash last night. Please play to your strengths. Play to the facts when you gain advantages. Don't just toss them away like they're unwanted garbage. Because, I mean, there are three rounds there where I'm thinking Mount St. Mary's has a very good shot at winning, if not four or five. And they're yeah. like, yeah, no worries. We don't want them. It really did feel like Mount St. Mary's was able to get early picks, but they couldn't get anything past that. They were yeah. able to get the advantage. There were so there were at least two or three rounds there where there was a 2v5, a 3v5, a 2v4 in the favor of Mount St. Mary. And they yep. just got out clutched. And once you, if that happens once or twice, hey, good right. on them. That's now clutched. Yeah. But when it happens over and over again, it's a problem with how you're playing the game on the Mount St. Mary side. We're going to throw to a quick break. We will be back with Map 2 Sunset between Harrisburg University Storm and Mount St. Mary University.
Welcome, everyone. We are back with the Unified Collegiate League 2024 fall season. I'm still Mechatronic. This is still Time Delight. And it is 839 on the East Coast. And the reason I bring that up is because the sun has already set in the world, but it's just starting to set in Valorant. 
because we're going to sunset the map. I feel like you could have brought up like mountain time. I probably sun, could have. The sun's about to set in like the eastern part of mountain time. But I mean, I don't know how quickly it's going to set on this series. This best of three, I don't know how long it'll last. We already saw map one come and go. 13-1 in favor of Harrisburg University, and it wasn't even their map pick. I said this no. at the beginning of the series. I will say it once more. Uh, Harrisburg, they picked Sunset. If Mount St. Mary's didn't do well on bind or didn't win it, we were not going to see Abyss. I don't think we're going to see Abyss. It's just a matter of, at this point of how long are we going to see Sunset? Yo, Hecky, I see this hover from you, man. Jeez. I'm here for it. I know to not get baited by hovers. But, like, if someone wants to pull up. a vise out, I'm here. I'm also going to have to figure out how vise is going to work in some metas because I have not seen all that much vise. I'm going to be no vise is it. I haven't seen much vise in playing the game either, but it doesn't yeah, look it, like right now we're going to see a vise tonight. That's a I don't shame. know if you're going to test anything. Now's the time for Harrisburg, right? I, actually, for Mount St. Mary's, too. If you if you really true. don't think you're going to win this map and you just want to kind of do some limit testing against a, a, a real good team. Yeah. Now's the time to do it. Okay, so I brought this up last map. I will bring it up again. Uh, most common agent composition is Breach, Omen, Cypher, Sova, Neon. So Wow, that's, that's exactly the Mount St. Mary's composition. I think that's the... Uh, the Harrisburg composition. It's yeah. totally it's totally not flipped at the top. Yeah, we'll swap that in a second. That's just our uh, broadcast over there. It's fine. Online, Everything's really. fine. But uh, both teams I, have roughly the same comp here. Yeah, uh, only swap out is what the omen. No, omens the it's same. A, Cipher. It's is a the raise same. for a sova. That's what I was looking for. It was almost there. Um, the double duelist. Not, not abnormal on either. I think uh, the uh, Mount Saint Mary's composition is the fourth most common. It's five percent or picked five percent of the time. For Harrisburg, it is the most common is picked 22.3% of the time. Uh, they also have the five most, or four of the five most commonly picked agents individually. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. All five. I lied. Last time it was four of the five. For Mount St. Mary's, it's four of the yeah. five. Raise is number six. Again, that's a lot of numbers, Magic Man. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I only bring them up at the beginning yeah. of the broadcast, or beginning, beginning of each map, so we don't have to think about it all that much. That's a good. That's I'm 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 here for that. Yeah. All right. Map two number started. What? Uh, map yeah. two about to start. Let's see if Mount Saint Stealing Mary sight. can get a win here. Can get to a little bit better than they did on the last map against Harrisburg University. They are starting on the defense, and Harrisburg University already has the ace. Uh. They're forcing everything out as well. Great aftershock forces the Cypher to look the opposite direction. Huso misses the broad side of the bar and much less the outline of the Cypher. And it's still going for the Cymite. There are two okay. more players here. It's not like they're unoccupied there, Huso. And they're still sending it. It's a W key for Harrisburg. Problem is, they've given up the site. They could go for a defuse here, and Mount Cypher is going to do so. That's the round. What are Harrisburg doing? That's a, that's, a, that's a smidge of ego right go, go, go. there, I'm thinking, from the Harrisburg University side. Okay, maybe a, a healthy helping of ego. That's like three days meals go, worth go. of ego right there. 7,000 calories a, of ego. It's, I was going to say, it's past, your, it's past your daily nutritional value of ego. Yeah. You have too much sodium, you have too much ego in your, uh, in your healthy diet there. Well, that was, I mean, it's like, hey, let's just keep throwing bodies at the problem. I'm out and then here. when we realize that's not working, let's keep trying to patch Grenade. the bullet wounds with bandits or other people. Okay, Acrios. All right, so two kills early for Mount St. Mary's. They will get traded. Acrios will go down as well. Hijinx grabs another one to snaps. They're starting to take mid, like, very hard. Why destroyed? Ian's going to go around this corner. We'll get a pick. Shadow will go down. So we'll take their own pick onto Hecky. So it's it's a 2v2 to start this round off, which we've got past the uh, beginning pleasantries here. We'll be Harris they've gotten though. A again. Yeah, they, they've gotten A for... Well, you can't say for free this time, because there's been three kills on both sides. But for as free as you're going to get in a 2v2. 
And the question is, how does Mount St. Mary's try to approach this? Are they even going to approach this? Look how slowly they're trying to take the backside of Defender's spot. It just looks like they're saving, and they really don't have the guns that you'd think, oh, yeah, I want to save these for next draft. It's just not no. going to work for them. Cover going out. I mean, we see the start of a push here, right? Insta right here with the Omen smoke. Dark cover going out. They're going to try and clear the back of the box. Cover they see the spikes. Out. Spikes not in a totally normal place either. Hijinx has got some shots through this dark cover too. Last player standing. One enemy just remaining. playing for a time here. Nicely done by Hijinx. Just make sure that this spike does not get defused. Right click through the smoke. It will be a Harrisburg University round, but it's low econ for everyone involved. Hey, everybody kind of dropping out in terms of money slash weaponry slash now abilities. Harrisburg having to go, sure, Vandal slash Phantoms, but lower shields and even lower primary firearms. Ion goes just for the Bulldog. Yeah, they'll have a little bit more abilities in their back pocket. Sure, they'll have full shields. But for Mount St. Mary's, what is that? A Sheriff, a Stinger, go, and go, go. three Classics. Not a heck of a lot purchased on their side. Yeah, not a ton in there. See a kill? No. What? Eki will get Huzo just through the cyber gauge. Like the third time, by the way. Huzo's but this is the A site again. Yeah. This time it's their primary mode again. They go A, sometimes B, and then back to A, and then A again. They're just trying to lock this down. So Neural Theft will come out. Will be the start of what looks to try and be a retake here for Mount St. Mary's. One will get caught in the trap wire. Wow. One will go Trapper down. Staff will go down through the star cover just because of the, the ping from the trip wire. Got more things to say. Walk to okay. Great first, maybe a second, but they're still sticking One it. Great needs to be shut down and just barely is. Jeffy, good swing. Good spatial awareness to understand. Wait, I heard somebody tap it, and it totally wasn't the two people I just saw. That could have been very bad. Mount St. Mary's almost did the bait and switch with two players face checking a smoke. But Harrisburg duly dealt with it, only barely. Two to one right now, Harrisburg. They lost the first round because of ego, but it's kind of been tamed back a little bit in the last couple of rounds. As they've go, go, tried go. to dominate this A site, but it looks early like this could be a B site Shut domination. It. Jan's just gonna sprint down to start. Gotta go. It seems like both of these teams are like, we don't really want to play Sunset all that much. Let's try and get it over with as Gotta soon go. as humanly possible. <laughs> Harrisburg on both this sides. Map. Yeah, and even Harrisburg's like, wait, we want to rush every round, but we don't want to be here. I think Harrisburg just kind of saw the last game where they went 13-1, and kind of just assumed that they could run over Mount St. Mary's here. And it's looking like. Well, that may not be totally the case, but these rounds are a little bit closer than expected. Wraith is sitting in this dark cover. Once this dark cover phase, it could be really bad for one of the I'm Harrisburg of members, but Insta is going to go down quickly. This is where Wraith should know to activate, but he's just going to have to pull back. He's got no vision in front of him. And Huso, yet again, has the A site. So, you know, as soon as Wraith is smoked off there, how in the world the Omen isn't staring at mid is beyond me. But that, that should have been either watched by him, watched by the camera they had Shadows sitting at the top of the watchtower there. Somebody should have had at least one eye, if not multiple, on that position. Sure, Mount St. Right Mary's here. can try and speed through a retake here, but we've talked about this. They don't have the greatest of weaponry. They don't have the best of abilities. And more importantly, they're getting flanked themselves. Even if they walk through Defender Spawn with some level of expeditiousness, it's not going to work all that well for him. Wraith finds one, but all this is doing is setting up for Ion, who's flanking behind. He may not even have to be activated, but as soon as he is, one Heroes goes remaining. down. Great setup again for Harrisburg University. Jeff B with a 3K, and Harrisburg with their Revealing area. It feels, other than that little... Uh... A spout of ego at the beginning of this half in that pistol round. Harrisburg University has tightened it up in these last three rounds, made sure that they are taking the advantage here. jewels where they need to. You saw that they took so much space on top mid. Here. And they're probably just going to do it right here. again here. Is try and take a lot of space on mid. Go. Blame them, yeah, especially considering we're seeing go, go, everything go. start to work in their favor. Now weaponry, make it abilities, combine that with the fact they're playing together a lot more than just Huso taking individual fights three or four times. And look, he's just sprinting through mid again because uh, he just stunned himself the relay button. Yeah, he did just stun himself. 
That's I was trying to figure out where the enemy Neon was to see, oh, maybe he didn't stun himself. Maybe it was a great now. Unless there are time. lineups for uh, relay bolts from A main. Are there? I don't think there are. I don't think there are. No. I didn't even think if there, that there were lineups for relay bolts. If you really thought about it, you probably could, but I don't think it would be worth it. doesn't seem that useful. No. Well, they don't instantly have the A site. I will give them I, I will give the Mount St. Mary's squad some props on that. There's not an instant takeover here. Cyber Cage will be used to try and get some speed, some sight into elbow. They're having to use a lot of utility here, right? They use the cyber cage, they use the flashpoint. They're using stuff. But they get the sight, it's all worth it. Grenade! You saw a shoulder. And that paint shell's really only gonna slow things down and maybe do a little bit of damage. Huso decided to sit inside of it. And they've got a couple bits of utility put around this corner. Great paranoia, but an even better swing back oh, the opposite okay. direction. Huso's like, hey, I'll take a two for one deal any day of the week. Doesn't matter what store left. I'm getting it from, especially if that is named the Mount St. Mary's planted. Defense. Wraith is gonna try and combine with their neon of Akira's over towards standing. main, but oh Akira's good. Poorly timed Forever. on the kill, and that's the round. It's just a matter of how deadly it ends up being. The rate and oh, he finds a kill, and he's getting knifed. Oh no! Mm. Oh no! Oh no! They're knifing already. They, it took them a whole half to knife last game. Yeah, it was like the very end of the first half as well. This time it took five rounds. Yeah. Okay, so that ego that I said oh, that no. maybe had gone away. No, it hasn't gone away. Nope. Hey, well, this time was a little bit more justified. They were in a 4v1 on a player with a stinger. So it kind of made sense, but still. Still. What can, Mount... still... Go, go, go. What can Mount St. Mary's do to turn their tide here? Um, uh, there's no way, go. right? Yeah, he's, he's using the oh overdrive to nullify the fact he was just stunned by the relay bolt, I and know it's working. Exactly. Please get a second. Please oh. get a second. No, hey, he headshots him. Uh, overdrive isn't good for one-shot kills. Unironically, if he just had the Bucky out, he would have gotten a kill. A moment. Probably, actually. Spike planted. Heck, he's no been spotted. Here. Yeah. No way. Okay. One just walk up. Remaining. Boom, boom. No. Hijinks with two. Wraith will get the trade, but it's a 3v1. We've seen Wraith in these situations before, and I don't think he's won a single one of them tonight. He tried to last game. He was definitely in a three-on-one a couple of times. Concussing. After shock, will concuss uh, immediately. Nice okay, sure. Shadow nice shadow kill on again. Shadow. <laughs> Jeffy's taking the game a little more seriously. We'll take Wraith down. Five to one right now, Harrisburg University. So questions across the board for Mount St. Mary's. It's really how do you solve the problems of Huso running in and everybody picking up the pieces when he has problems. This is more of a statement, I feel. Mount St. Mary's is not getting as many early round advantages as they'd like. But sure, it's go. still Harrisburg showing we are 4-1 and one with only a loss to I'm Columbia. Here. And I feel like that's going to continue. It, it would be go, go, more go. individual heroics for Mount St. Mary's required to win this, and they're trying for it. It's a rush of A main on both sides. Russo runs into a blind, How is and Russo it works! Dead? How? Shortcut. Shock it. I don't like this Russo's has plot I'm armor. That, I, that's the only explanation I have. Russo's just gets more oh, no. He still finds two of the chair, and now he's being knifed by Russo. Just runs in with the ready. speed equipped, basically flying in his shoes. On the but now they've given Hickey an opportunity to clutch this. He's thrown down the information for the neural theft. He's walked through his own cyber cage. And the problem is he's taken two fights at the same time. I don't care how good you are. You're not winning those every day of the week. He doesn't. Ion shuts down the clutch attempt, but that was a little dangerous for a second for Harrisburg, despite the fact that uh, everything happened that shouldn't have. I'm still looking at Huso and how he just kind of sprinted in when here. there was no vision for him. And we're not talking like League of Legends, no vision, like there's not a ward somewhere. Go. He literally could not see anything and still managed to get a kill and survive. Go, go, go. Huso's on some of this game. I know I'll he doesn't have the them. most amount of kills yeah, or anything, but he has just continuously made space for the Harrisburg University team. And that's all you can really feet. ask of the Neon. I'm out of here. Rushing it, rolling thunder. Akira's goes down, almost a second. There's Shadow I'm making sorry. three, and that's basically the round. 
four versus two. Harrisburg does not throw away player advantages unless they're in pistol rounds and trying to have way too much fun with it. And that should continue into this round. Rotation onto the less defended site, technically. And yeah, that should be just about all she wrote. But Ion does die there, surprisingly. And Wraith somehow Wraith is isn't cleared from a position that was routinely played, I might add. Blinding. Huh? One enemy Hot remaining. Chance. I okay sure uh, th uh, that is one of those rounds right there that I'd love to have like a telestrator for to yeah. to explain what happened there with shadow and how he was able to just walk up the backside of mid there and get three kills in a row I also feel very bad for Mount St. Mary's they had perfect positioning and race is like hey I've got rolling thunder it's a really expensive ultimate let me use it and as soon as he does aftershock is used directly in his face go, go, and he go. gets just stunned out and can't do anything and then he's flashed and then he's killed and then his teammates killed and the round ends harrisburg almost lost that 4v2 and yet mount st mary's just because of timing alone and a little bit of gunfire sure had it just torn away from them. so i do like this. this is a different look for mount st mary's here they push really deep into mid and they've got a lot of people here sitting here in Boba. They know there's people sitting here in Boba. Hijix just goes through the wall anyway, gets killed by the clone. Go get him. Huso isn't going to be um, Nobody thinks about it. Actually, wait a second. Snap somehow thought... does and still gets killed from Ayan, who's sitting on the opposite side of mid and shooting through the door. There he uh... is, Huso. He finds two somehow and is running through cages with his hands flying in every direction. Finally, Uri equips his gun and finds a headshot. I wish, uh, we had a, I wish we had, like, cast attempts up the entire series for that right there, because you could just see how absolutely dumbfounded I was. Befuddled. Mechatronic befuddled. We should make that an emote here at Unicorn. Gotta go! Because I probably would, have one that we can make into it already. It would probably apply. I'm out of here. Which is not supposed to happen. I'm sorry, how does Huso get anything there? Much less three kills. Needless to say, not supposed to happen. Somehow still does, and it's 8-1. Harrisburg University, you're giving absolutely nothing over for free. They've already taken the entirety of the A site, and Heiki has no way in because there's a smoke in his face. Kuso pressed X, or whatever it's bound to for him, and is already sitting in defender spawn, and nobody's doing anything about it. And then he forgets oh, that defender goodness. spawn could still be occupied. That's the second time that's happened. Uh, it's this is it's ego from Huso. I ends able to get in one trade onto uh, and stuff, but it's just a three v three right now. So they they took this great advantage they had. They've thrown it away a little bit, and they're gonna try and see can they huh? force it and get it back. Just two How HP onto Ian. He's the bait. Oh, and it's going to work because they have the recon the villain, and they could play it around the corner Found through the wall at least. They may One go for it. Remaining. Jeffy in a perfect oh position to God. deal with this. And now they can bait it back the opposite direction. There's Ion jumping. Hey, look at me. And uh, jumping right click because the classic is still objectively broken. Somehow works. Harrisburg win again. So remember when I said there was plot armor for Huso? Everybody. So everybody has plot armor on Harrisburg. There's, there's, there's plot armor. You know, gross is a very accurate way of putting things, I think. Uh, my girlfriend likes to say grody. That's just grody. Uh, grody's a good word. Grody's a yeah. good word. Let's go! That's what this entire series has been, I feel. Just grody. It's super interesting, because if you look at the scoreboard and you just go based on kills... But... Oh, I'm sorry. Who said what are you doing there, man? But he was behind Akiros, and Akiros had no idea, by the way. Yeah, there. if you just go look at scoreboard and go based on kills, you actually need this, like, not a close game, but it's definitely a Harrisburg game, but not by this player much. Standing. Je what is Jeffy oh. doing? Huh? <sighs> He's got four! They did the exact same thing. Hey, send one person to the lower side of mid, just Last so everybody's going in opposite direction, and it works. That's the third time they put somebody in that general spot, and it started working in their favor. It's just not supposed to happen, and it continues to happen. This, okay, may been, bro. this may be the most disjointed cast I've done in a while because there's just so much what going on. So, let's see. We started round one of map one at like, what, 7.05 maybe central time? Yeah. We, we played almost a round every two minutes, including our break and halftime no, 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 and no, every no, round. Kuso is just running things I down on this exactly map. Realizes, wait, there's a player behind me. 
Shadow's like, oh, I can deal with that. And now he's One running around remaining. inside of Boba, <laughs> and it works. That round maybe lasted Stop 30 it. seconds, and I think I'm overestimating. Gotta go. I, I'll be honest, I, I went into a spell here. there for a minute. <laughs> like, I, I, I saw Huso playing, I saw Huso sprinting, and I just kind of went into a trance. Go, go, go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to better go, describe go, go. that than everybody held W and it worked perfectly in their favor and it absolutely should not have. Mount pistol St. Mary's. around here. Yeah, maybe they win a second pistol. We'll see. You, you know, this is the exact same score we went into map two with and I think both of us forgot that it was 12 to one in the next round when uh, Harrisburg ended up winning. Oh, that ninja defuse. Please tell me another ninja happens before time expires. Oh my lord. Go. Before the sun sets on our series. I'm so uh, sorry. No, it's uh, okay. Somehow okay. Hijinx is fully blind. Akira's is behind oh, him. No, Misses no, no. almost every shot, and Hijinx finds two kills. Akira, you are not Huso. I'm sorry to tell you, but it, it's oh. it's just kind of being proven oh, right now. Remaining. Okay, bro. Spike it's something, down, something, beat. you are not him. And I feel like that caps off <laughs> what has been <laughs> wild. And Hijinx finds a third on right click. Free here. gun, by the way. Gun Harrisburg's here. on match point in an match hour. Go, go. We can all agree losing free sucks. Gun. Come on, let's win. Free gun. Every single member on Harrisburg University has more frags than every single member on Mount St. Mary's. That was Need not the case last game. Ian was 5-7-5, five, and five, go, go. sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard across both teams. They're all, they've all showed up on this map. Again, Huso's at the bottom. We keep saying Huso's name, and he's at the bottom of the scoreboard for Harrisburg. Uh, go, go, so go. Agent Select started at 7.08 uh, p.m. Central Time. Roundabouts. It is 8.01. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa hold in on our here. second map. <sighs> Never mind. No, hijinks <laughs> finds two, one to the one other, and that should go. just about Spike do it. Down, I don't know if this series lasted an hour from Defenders round one win. up until round 28, because that's all it took. I've seen individual games <laughs> last longer than this map. I've seen individual games last longer in terms of I'm round sorry. count. The than Valor this game I played during lunch today lasted longer than this. <laughs> What? Uh, it, I just want to. I, I want everybody to think. Harrisburg University got demolished last week. They get and demolished. They lost two to one. It wasn't a full demolition. Yeah, but it was to it was Columbia three College, maps. and two of those maps were like not close. But like this, <laughs> I I don't even I don't even know how how to explain insane. This is just insane. Uh, speechlessness is not a very good trait for people who are supposed to talk for a living. And here but, we but, are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that tells you just about how Harrisburg did today. And I feel like that's a very good way of putting things in a 2-0 that uh, probably will last less time than a Madden game I play later. It's insane. We are going to jump to a break. We will be back with an interview with one of the members from Harrisburg Storm. And we will see you then.
is because he just loves to do the things he does in ranked, and he brought it to the match tonight, and it was a good uh, showing from him. Thank you for taking that question very seriously. (laughs) Yeah. When you do the the things you do between two maps, like Bind and Sunset with Rays and Neon, I feel like those two agents on those two maps with their movement abilities, it's kind of like enabling him. Do you, you guys just like encourage it? It's it's got to be encouraging, right? Well, I mean, we had a problem before where he was just like a little too scared, so we just like put him in these situations where he kind of has to use that util and has to like actually run in and like kill them. So, um, yeah, I think so. I think the characters that he plays enable him to do a lot more than uh, I think that he's aware of because you know he is mechanically gifted. He should be able to be put in those spots. And outside of Huso specifically, I want to talk about you. Uh, double controller role today. You, it felt like you used the abilities outside of just smokes a lot better than we see sometimes elsewhere. I mean, we had Columbia College on a back-to-back week, so we saw a lot of abilities from them. But seeing it from you today, I loved seeing how well you used Paranoia back on Sunset. You guys really set it up as a setup utility instead of having to play with the initiator. Talk to me about how you guys set up your Sunset setup. Um... We watch a couple of teams and we just kind of copy what they do, but we also just add our own spin on a couple of things. If we feel like there's a certain play that normally wouldn't work, we would just kind of like improvise and add our own, you know, thing to it. Uh, we have some pretty funny names for some of our strats, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's that's usually like how we remember a lot of them. But yeah. I need to just know like two of the names that are absolutely broadcast appropriate because I, I know for a fact <laughs> that half of them um... absolutely are not. Uh, we have one, (laughs) um, we have one called, uh, Boba and Fun Time, and then that one where I teleport into Boba, I don't know, you guys saw that one, but that one Boba and Fun Time. Yeah, Boba and Fun Time. I thought you said Bubba and Fun Time. I'm like, who is Bubba? Nah, Boba, because the call is called Boba. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I I like the insight. Appreciate that, Jinx. Um. I mean, so you guys played really well in the first game of the series. You played really well in the second game of this series. We watched the game one end with what could almost only be described as a ninja defuse um, with Fade just kind of sticking in the corner there, just the very back of the the heel showing. Was there any thought from you guys that you may have messed around a little too much in the first map, especially towards the end of the first map, that you weren't going to close out 13-1 or 13-2? Nah, I mean, we were just so confident that at a certain point, like, we just started calling, like, yo, let's just run at them and knife. So we just won out. Yeah. We were just like, we were just like, screw it, like, run it down, you know? Like, no respect. I literally said in the middle of the game, I'm just like, yeah, let's just, like, we're just better. Let's just go. Feels like you guys brought that energy right into the pistol round of the second map. We saw a little bit of a, I think we called it ego. Uh, You guys may have called it uh, over aggression in the pistol round. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I, yeah, we were just playing with high confidence. That's all. Is all right, it and the, then, the famous quote of there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance? And I feel like you guys yeah. crossed that line by a, a very large margin and pistol and kind of <laughs> back in the rest of the game. Yeah, for I, sure. Last question from us. Is there anything you want to talk to the people who are watching at home, people who have supported uh, the storm throughout the season so far, uh, or anyone watching? Um... We got a lot more coming from where we're uh, starting out right here. So just keep watching the streams. We got more coming for you guys. All right. Thank you, Hi Jinx. And that's going to wrap it up for us tonight on the Unified Broadcast. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night for Smash. Remember, we're here five nights a week. Except for next week, where we're not here on Wednesday, but that's a separate matter. We're here five nights a week for <laughs> collegiate esports coverage. Smash Crew Battles is tomorrow night. We'll see you then.
Thank you.